Hello everybody and a good day to you all today. I'm talking about Shameless Season number 8, episode number 8. Frank's Northern Southern Express. This episode is directed by Emmy Rossum. That's right. Fiona Gallagher directed this episode. I like when actors direct their own direct their own shows, direct their own episodes, because they cause they cause they know their character inside and out. She was doing this person for like eight years now, and she knows how she know what Fiona would do. She also understands the other actors and stuff like that she's been working along with. So it, it makes a good fit a lot of times. And I really did enjoy the direction, the directorial debut in this episode right here. I'm not sure she did she directed any episode before this. I'm not so sure, but I did enjoy this one. And here we have a whole lot of things going down in the Frank in the Gallagher world. First we have Frank. And he's starting a new business now with his son. And he's helping, um, well, Muslims who, who, who came to America for a better life. And, well, it didn't turn out well for them. Helping them leave America to go to Canada. So he's helping them find their better life, not here, but in Canada. I mean, he, he lost his, he, he, had a, he tried to do the right thing. He got himself a job. Everything was going well. He was moving up quite nicely. He was being productive, and he got he got laid off because it was it, it, it was closed down all of the stores. And so Frank, being Frank, when life gives you lemons, lemons, he, he he finds a way to make some money. It's not legal, but at this at least this time he is helping people. So I guess you can get what you can get. It's not, I guess you could say right, but he is helping. Other, 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 somebody else other than himself while making a profit along the way then you have Carl and he was um, he was trying to make money so he could um, go back into military school and he was trying to do this whole um, rehab thing and he met this crazy girl named Cassidy who's insane who comes for money for reasons she doesn't want to go back to her house because I, I have no idea why because for now, I can tell she wasn't beaten or anything like that. She's just a spoiled, rich brat who wants to act out and who's probably insane. So, so she 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 wants to stay with Carl because she's the one she wants she doesn't want, she doesn't want to go back home. And so she pretty much uses her sexual ways to trick Carl to to make her make sure she can stay with him. But she's crazy. She's insane. Yeah. I don't know when Carl will actually realize that. I mean, he's starting to find out a little bit here, but he hasn't left her yet, so I guess he hasn't learned anything. I mean, he's starting to realize that she's crazy, but he's not smart enough to leave her yet. Yeah. That's messed up. Then you have Deb. She lost her job, and now she's trying to find ways to earn her, earn money so she can finish um, her welding school so she can start making actual money. So she's got, she's got, a, she's got, a, she's got, she's got a little hustle on. She's trying to make sure she's trying to find ways to make sure she can make some cash. But in the meantime, she also trying to figure out if she actually pregnant or not. Because she, even though she took those little tests and they all said negative, she thought she doesn't, she, she does, she, she doesn't trust, she doesn't trust it. And so she asked um, Lip to help her out with um, Lip the, um, um, decides to help her out with this and takes her to a place where she actually get tested for real. And when Lip goes there, he sees Charlie and he finds out that Charlie. Who's dating Sierra, who Lippin's in love with, he found out that he got another girl pregnant. But Charlie doesn't want some Sierra to know, and but Lip wants him, well, Charlie to tell Sierra, so now they got a little secret going on there that Lip doesn't like. And in the meantime, you have Lip, who's trying to find a new sponsor. And his new sponsor is, um, what well, is going to be, um, Leah, um, Delaney, Delana. And she also plays on, on, on Orange is the New Black. And she's going to be his sponsor. But he didn't like her at first because he pretty much, she pretty much told him how it is and what he was doing. He didn't like to hear the truth. So he bailed and tried to find somebody else. It turns out, well, he, she's, he's, she's the best he can do. Yeah. The, he was, she was the right choice for him. Then you have what's going on with Ian. Well, he's still a little bit mad at Fiona. But he's trying to get over that. But now he found a new cause to be pissed off at. He found out there's, there's this preacher who's taking homosexuals and trying to convert them by praying the gay away. Yeah. Why? The messed up part is, this actually happens. I don't know what... I don't understand. Anywho, so um, Ian has to mind to let out his frustrations on. And they have their battle of the Bible verses in this episode right here. Then you have Fiona, 
and she pretty much go out on the, go out with four because four really loves architecture. He's pretty passionate about that. He loves building and stuff like that. So he takes Fiona out there to pretty much show her around, show her all the stuff that he, that inspires him that he really likes. And through this, she they she thought that they were having a connection, and she pretty much kissed, she kissed him. He didn't kiss her back. But she kissed him, and she realized, oops, my bad, I didn't know you were gay. He said, no, I'm not gay, I just, I just don't want to go at you because you're too complicated. He doesn't say, say what now? Complicated. Complicated? I ain't complicated. And then, then she pissed, got pissed off, and she left, and she went back home, and she told her fam that he said he was complicated. He said, yeah, 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 you are. You are complicated. Your whole life is a mess. Don't you know, you haven't realized all that yet? Your whole, your whole life is messed up. You are complicated. But it turns out, Ford, his life is always complicated. Because he has five kids. For reasons unknown, lesbians love him. And they like to, they like but they love his sperm and they have his babies. How does this happen? I don't know. Because he because he, he knocked up Nessa and Mel. He knocked up Mel, even um, in, intro, and Nessa, he slept with her. Weird. And you got other lesbians in there with their babies too. I was like, what is going on? And it just came out of nowhere. Like, he didn't mention it at all. Like, he, 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 cause the thing is though, he being judgmental to Fiona telling she's complicated, but he didn't tell the fact that he has five kids by other, about lesbians. I, I, I'm okay. Then you, have, then you have Veronica and Kev and Svetlana. And you have Kev Who's starting to get his confidence back for what he was, what he's doing um, around because she's because vegan off of the, the whole domination dominant thing do, dominant side of um Kev and that awakened the, the alpha male inside of him and so now he got sick of Tyler spitting on him bossing him around he said what am, I, what am I doing why am I listening to you and now he's bossing her around and she doesn't like it and then V's getting off on it and it, and, and she's starting to get pushed to the side she's slowly slowly starting to get pushed back to the side because she because she's thinking though. But Nana took over by being bossy and pretty much making them feel like they were stupid. So now Kev is fighting back and she doesn't know how to handle it. And now she's starting to see that her world is starting, is starting to crumble and she's starting to be right back on the, on the loser's side again. Because the thing is though, Kev is starting to realize Svetlana needs them. Yeah, she might act like she, she's better than them. She might act like she's smarter than them. And she most likely she is smarter than them. But she needs them. She's illegal. Yeah, where's she gonna go? Exactly, she found a spot where she can where she can stay at and not worry about getting deported, and some place where she can actually make some money. She ain't going nowhere. And when Kev and once Kev realized that, that he's the like, he's pretty much got the power. Well, things are starting to change there. So overall, this is another great episode. Like I said, it was funny watching Frank and this and the whole um. Smuggling people to Canada. That was hilarious. That, that was the most of the comedy thing. On and then also watching and watching Kev and, and Veronica and the sweat line. The dynamic starting to see things change there. That's very interesting. Now, I don't know how long this is going to last. It's about how long it's so going to fight back or not. But who knows? Because she might start. She, because the thing is, though, she used sex to get V in line. So maybe she might try sex with um, um, Kev too. It might work. Maybe not. I don't know. But, but see, Kev's starting to get a little bit wiser now to this, so I don't know if it might work for him. And she started, and she's seeing her power go away from her, how she's going to respond to that, how she's going to act to it. That's going to be very interesting. And then watching the whole dynamic between Carl and um, Cassidy, watching Carl, who's trying, to, who's trying to do the right thing and trying to make, make himself better, and you got this girl who doesn't want to be anything, how long that's going to last? Because eventually... He's gonna to want to move on and move, and because he he did all everything he's doing right now is for him to go back to military school because he wants to be a police officer. That is his goal, and so far he's still on track. But now he got Cassidy there, and she and she looks like she's trying to pull him in a different direction. I don't think that's gonna. You can tell right now it's not gonna last that long. And how will she respond to that when he breaks up with her eventually? And. What and then we, got, and we also got to find out. And also interesting the thing is that we got you got Ian. Why is he so angry? So all of a sudden, like so, all of a reason, is he losing it? Is is something something else triggering him? Is his medication not working? I mean, what he did was a good thing this time, and he, this time his anger was focused on something other than his sister. And he and he also did something great for a lot of other people. So I don't know. 
But what's the cause of all this anger? I mean, this time it, I, I was actually on his side this time. I didn't like the fact he was fighting his sister. I, 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 I didn't like the fact they were butting heads against one another. But this time, I'm actually, I'm actually like, on his side as a character. I actually want to see where this goes. Because I, I, I don't think this might be the last time he faces a preacher. Something tell me that preacher might be gay. Something tell me that preacher is gay. I got a feeling he's gay. He, he's a he's full blown homosexual, and I think that's why I think that's why he's doing this whole conversion whole conversion therapy in the first place. I think he's gay. That's the theory I have. But like I said, overall great episode. Really did enjoy it a whole lot. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of Shameless. If you got any thoughts or theories yourself, leave, leave, leave the comments down below. Well, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. To so get my channel the big old like, the thumbs up, mm, boom, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would really appreciate it, like I always say, in my dreams and in my life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.